Imagine this, you're sitting somewhere like a cafe or wherever, some fella walks up to you, offers you $100,000, and all you have to do is... Nope, nope, nope. You will have definitely heard the saying that everybody has a price. And generally, the emphasis is on the potential of a financial opportunity. But actually, what you're really talking about is capital, particularly money, being used as a tool of control. Symbolic violence, if you will, which is something that is well and truly worth understanding. Hey, I'm Carell, I'm an anthropologist, and I'm certainly not a stranger of covering topics that look at things like ethics, morals, and values. In fact, a lot of the research I've done in the past, and at the moment, does exactly that. Following on from my previous video that highlighted various forms of capital, which should be fucking up there somewhere, I was thinking up this one, contemplating the very real transactions that take place in our daily lives. I'm talking about using economic capital, usually in the form of money, to basically buy people, or you know, coerce, manipulate, or persuade them to do things that they might not want to do. For most of these transactions, you probably usually feel like you're exchanging something that you, you're not going to miss or that you can kind of do without, and subsequently you might not even notice them happening. You know, things like objects that you don't really use, things that don't really hold a lot of value or just a little bit of your time. But what if it was something a bit more personal, something that you valued much more deeply? Would you be willing to compromise those values? Pretty fittingly, I took inspiration from the uh, 2012 movie Would You Rather for the thumbnail for this video. There is a scene in that movie where Brittany Snow's character, who happens to be vegan, is offered $10,000 to eat a steak. And she accepts for what seems to be a pretty good exchange from her perspective at the time for her morals and values. But the person that offered her this opportunity is kind of mocking her over it and he's super stoked at how easy it was for him to purchase her morals at what he considered to be a fucking bargain. And there are far darker scenes, it is a horror movie, but we're not going to fuck around with that. You get the picture. If you're a meat eater like myself, 10k for a steak is a no brainer. You're going to take the damn money. But let's change the context. What if you had to drink a vial of poison? Something that would make you incredibly unwell. It is subjective, but as you can probably figure, suddenly the decision isn't quite so easy to make. What if it's human flesh? The price increased to 100000 It might not seem like such a bargain anymore, more of a test of your self-worth and integrity, potentially for the amusement or gain of somebody else. It could be something a little less extreme. It might be a small wage increase at work, or even one that is quite substantial, but you know, it's a job that you fucking hate. Or denying certain parts of society from having access to certain things. Usually it's the rich fucking over the poor, but not exclusively. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, am I losing more than I'm gaining here? The late French sociologist Pierre Bourgeois referred to actions like this as a kind of symbolic violence. In anthropology, we fucking love Bourgeois. He describes symbolic violence as a subtle, often unnoticed form of domination through which you are controlled by social norms, values, and cultural practices. It's the use of symbolic rather than physical force to perpetuate inequality and maintain a position of power. Admittedly, I don't recall them using such grim examples as I have, but sometimes it pays to be super fucking obvious. Okay, you've been made an offer that makes you feel uncomfortable. You just tell them to fuck off, right? It really comes down to whether you can afford to. To say no might mean that you're turning down an economic opportunity, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're simply no worse off than before. There could be consequences. There always fucking is. As the capitalist guru Bourgeois points out, and as I did in my previous video, economic capital is not the only form of capital that you have. 
there's still your cultural or even social capital. And that includes things like your reputation. These are all currencies of a sort that are up for exchange. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, what are the consequences of saying no? No doubt you've probably been in a situation where you felt unable to say no to someone when you really didn't want to fucking say yes. It might be your boss asking you to work extra hours at work, or it could be even more sinister, like unwanted sexual advances. By saying no, you could potentially find yourself unable to progress in your work, passed over for opportunities, or even worse. What if saying no makes them angry and symbolic violence becomes physical violence? Those with power tend to seek to take advantage of those that they perceive as being weak. They want you to assume the worst. While capital can be a major motivator, there is power in being able to recognize when it is being used by others to manipulate you and knowing when you can actually refuse it. Of course, it's easy to say that the things that you value shouldn't be up for sale, but it's never that fucking simple. But it's something that you do need to reflect on so that you can kind of be at least a little prepared and aware. It's kind of less of a question of what would you do for $100,000, but rather what wouldn't you do for $100,000. Realistically, you're selling your life in various forms, be it physically, mentally, in the form of your time, or more likely in a combination of ways. Is that paycheck what you think you're really worth? I fucking doubt it. So what wouldn't you do for $100,000? At the end of the day, we're all time poor. We're always spending it and giving it away freely. So I appreciate you spending yours on this video. I do aim to provide value in return, so if you did like this video, check out some of my other ones and stand by for more.